Hi guys, if you are working on SEO and if you are a beginner or you are starting working on SEO for a website, so you would be stuck or some somewhere when you do not know the terms of uh, SEO. There are many terms uh, like 20, 50, 30, many terms but uh, in this tutorial I will discuss about the main 10 terms that can help you throughout your SEO and the best understanding of your SEO so the first thing that uh, you will uh, listen when you talk about the SEO when you learn the SEO or apply the SEO is the rich snippet snippet if you snippet is also one term that can be considered so this whatever the search result that you got when you search something on the search engines using the keywords so this particular search result is a snippet and second term is a rich snippet the snippet which has a reviews and minutes like some calories if it's the recipe some timing of a music or something like a event or some maps will show with the result so those all types of snippets are rich snippets else if you have only the title url and this description so these three are only the simple snippet so this is a meta title if you heard about the SEO so this is a meta title and this is URL universal source uh, locator universal resource locator and this one the gray color is the meta description so we'll later on discuss about this also so this is actually the recent effect, the second one so we'll move towards the ne next thing that's the backlinks backlinks are actually the references from other websites to your website for example you are having a website like uh, my website let's rock engineers.com so some website like facebook is pointing towards your website you created some page on a facebook like if, if you show here so you created some page on a facebook and this facebook page has the links of your website so this means this website is moving or it's pointing towards your website so this link could be considered as a backlink backlink is that's back coming to your website so the third thing is the press release these are some releases that you can have for media and if you have communication to your public relations so you can have press release release also meta description that we already discussed is the this particular two lines is the meta description so these all things you must need to take care when you are going towards your seo one more thing that you could uh, be uh, listening is the cross linking cross linking is just the internal linking of your web pages sometime you create like a 10 uh, post of your some uh, single category like it's if you for an SEO category you created 10 post so you can link all those 10 post pages like as I shown here you have one post which is pointing towards this post and there is one this post which point towards the other post so like this you can create internal links so this could be called as a called as a cross linking also the next thing is url structure url is a same as i told is the universal resource locator so this is as shown in the green color this is the url so URL in SEO is also very important so whenever you create the snippet or you move towards the SEO so make sure the keyword is present in your URL so what a keyword is keyword is like whatever you search on Google is a keyword suppose I search for like 
French toast so French toast become a keyword so the keywords are very much important in SEO because nowadays the same information of your website could be present on some another website so th that means you are in the competition with another website so how you would be knowing on how you would be working on the some special uh, or some different categories on which others are not breaking so these keywords can help so you can whatever you search on a google google recognizes and google saves those uh, searches into its database and later on it shows by using google keyword planner tool to all the users that how many searches are there for the particular keyword in the google so by this you can uh, be aware that whether if your web page uh, title or your url whatever you have written is being searched on uh, google or not so this could be very helpful so for that you can uh, see my another tutorial on key google keyword planner so we are explained about google keyword planner so that you can choose a good keyword for you uh, next thing is social bookmarking it's the same like you go to the social media go to social websites and bookmark yourself make paste post and do commenting and do all of this type of stuff another one is google analytics google analytics is a tool provided by google which gives you the data real-time data of your website performance in terms of page views number of users uh, different countries data and some other data and keywords data also so that, that thing is uh, or I can say the tool is very 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 important for you you can also get a place to replication for analytics and be updated about all of your website users data so this is also very important uh, next thing is the webmaster tools you will also learn about uh, webmaster tools in SEO actually uh, when your website will be searched in the Google so all those snippet will be taken by Google webmaster tools from your website so you can say it's the online service from a Google to manage your website or blogs so it actually indexed the information of the pages so it's very essential for a search engine optimization so all the terms that are beneficial to increase the traffic rank and also you know, for the income of your website so do commenting on the article visit letstrockengineers.com to get more articles on seo and be expert of seo and apply on your website and get more and more money so thank you so much for watching this video if you like it please like the video and subscribe to my channel have a good day.